guys, um, quick video, um, not my normal video, I, um, I've been in the hospital for about three days, I had to have emergency, um, hernia surgery, um, I knew I had a hernia, um, it kind of had, uh, started getting bigger, this was the shape of it. Um, and I had about 10 years. Doctors had always told me, if it don't hurt, don't fix it. So I left it alone. And, um, the other day I had a fall, really bad fall. That's kind of why I'm not showing you my face. And I have to show you pictures just because my face is really jacked up. I fell face first, right onto my stomach where, uh, that hernia was. And didn't think much of it. You know, it hurt, but I was more concerned with my face. So um, after the days went on, my stomach, I could tell, was swelling more and more and more. And it started getting red, and it was really painful. And um, I was like, something is definitely going on. So went to the doctor. She sent me to a um, um, specialist, a surgeon. I went to the surgeon. All of this took a week or so while it's getting bigger and sore, and it was just miserable. So he's figuring, oh, it's just a, a, a hernia. We're going to take care of it. And, you know, no big deal. You'll be out 45 minutes. Done. Hold on for part two. Okay, sorry, I had to switch phone. Um, okay, yeah, the doctor said 45 minutes, in and out. They said they may have to cut off my belly button um, because it had become so stretched and the skin was so thin. He was afraid that the skin would die or something like that. So I gave them permission if they needed to do that. So they, I, they go in the back and they prep me and get me into the operating room and go to sleep. The next thing I know, I'm waking up and I hear my husband telling me that we had to go, we have to go to the hospital. They need to admit me and I'm in an hour at this time. Um, the surgery was a lot worse than they thought. They said normally um, an umbilical hernia um, hole is about the size of a golf ball. He said about that big. Well, mine was four inches long, four inches. And so a lot of my intestines were out. Um, it was a huge space where my intestines were out over these past however many years. Um, um, I guess then the fall happened and it ripped and then they just went crazy. So after I got to the hospital, ugh, that was miserable being there every five minutes. Somebody is in there to check you or poke you or prod you or whatever. Um, when they finally took off my bandages, this is what it looks like. That is where my belly button was right here. They took it all up. This scar is six inches long and it's vertical up and down my stomach. You see how it is indented like that? It is so, it, look, I wish I had 3D. It is so far indented because of all that space that I told you all the intestines were in there. It is just a huge indent in my stomach. So they had to put a drain in it. Um, because he said, if I didn't put the drain in it, it, the space would fill up with fluid constantly and it would just bloat, bloat, bloat and just cause a lot of pain because the body would slowly absorb it. But this way, it's coming out and I don't have to worry about it um, being absorbed. It's just coming out my system and it's, it's able to heal better. So this is day three after
after surgery. I had it done on Monday. Um, it was in a lot of pain on Monday, incredible amounts of pain. They gave me um, morphine that night. The morphine helped for a little while, but all it really did was make me, um, like my head burn, it made me drowsy and druggy feeling. I never did go to sleep. I mean, I, I think it's impossible to sleep in hospitals. I was awake from 3 a.m. Monday morning preparation going to the hospital until about uh, 2 p.m. yesterday, which was Wednesday. That was the first time I slept. Um, I finally got an Ambien, and I slept for four straight hours. It was like the best four hours I ever had. So the only other thing now that I'm dealing with is the, um, unfortunately, I know this is gross, but I had to have the drain put in to the right side of my stomach. So, um, like I said, those fluids could drain out and they weren't. So those fluids could drain out and they weren't just sitting in my stomach gathering over and over and over again and just causing it to swell and it could really, you know, hurt you and mess you up, he said. So um, every like six to eight hours I have to um, drain it, clean it, sanitize it, measure it. It's got a, they gave me a measuring cup to put with it and log it. So when I go back to the doctor in a week, um, he'll know if, uh, you know, enough was coming out or, or you know, that kind of stuff. And it's also good because he said I could tell, like, if the color changes, if it looks, um, yellowish or something, you may have, um, pus. If it looks, um, all watery, then you're really healing up. The blood is, you know, stopping, um, you know, different things like that. So, um, if you got a lot of clots coming out, let him know about that. They did give me some shots for, for the, um, the clotting, though. I was finally able to get back on my normal medications today. And I don't know if it was the morphine or not, but, oh, my God, the first two days, all I did was sweat. The hospital had that air conditioning in my room down to 55. But I was sweating to the point my hair was soaking wet literally soaking wet I put it up in a bun and it was just soaking my, my nightgown was wet I was rubbing ice on my forehead that's another thing speaking of ice um I found out after an aide gave me a little cup of ice because I wasn't allowed to eat or drink anything at that time but when I first got there I wasn't allowed to eat or drink even ice, so they took the ice away from me. I thought I was going to die. My mouth was so dry. Um, the second day, they came back in and said, okay, I could have ice, but that's it, just a little bit at a time. Surgeon came in the second day and said, I'm sorry, I got to keep you at least one more day for observation. We got to make sure, you know, your bowels are moving and... Um, I could eat, keep solid food down. Because he said, when you have a space that was so big and your intestines were out, he had to manipulate it so much and put that mesh in to hold it back. You have to make sure that your intestines are going to work properly after that. So they started me with um, a, a clear liquid diet you know, the soups and the jellos and tea and stuff like that. I got that for lunch and dinner. And then the next day they gave me uh, a solid food. They gave me breakfast, which was just scrambled eggs, a piece of toast, and some hot tea. And then for lunch, they gave me some fish, which I could not eat. It was terrible. Um vegetables, and um, something else, rice and gravy, so I ate a little bit of that, 
but um, I never did get nauseated. That's what they were worried about, getting nauseated with food in my stomach like that, with the intestines back in and different or whatever. Um, I remember what day I'm on. The last day when they told me I could finally go home, um, I'm still in a lot of pain at this point, but they've sent me home with pain pills, which I try not to use because I know that causes, you know, constipation too. So I just try to take Tylenol and ibuprofen when I can bear it. You know, I'm only taking that when I desperately need it. So, so far, that is my experience with the incisional umbilical hernia surgery that I had. Not a nice experience, but my suggestion to people who are thinking about this surgery or going to have this surgery, don't wait like I did for so long. Get it done before you have the emergency problems like I did. He said if I would have went in when it was, you know, small years ago, he said I would have been in, out, 45 minutes, at my house, no problem, no restrictions. Back to work in a couple days. Now, I had to go to the hospital, had to have this whole thing. I'm in a lot more pain. They had to remove my belly button. I got a six-inch incision going down my stomach. I've got a, um, a drain coming out my stomach. It, just unreal so take it from me if you have any type of hernia go get it done as quickly as you possibly can all right thanks for watching i'll update you later bye, -bye.